Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation today. x square equal to 3 to the x, as you can see no huge numbers, no 10th power, 15th power, we have 2, we have 3, we have only our x. But on the first side a lot of students say, ok, this is easy equation, they try to solve it by inspection, step by step, but it's not like an easy equation, it looks like that. But we have a really interesting explanation and really interesting solution. First of all, let's go with log on both sides, because we have power, so it's really good to take log on both sides. Let's go with natural log, so natural log x square equal to natural log 3 to the x. Ok, we all know why we apply this log, because 2 and x can be written right here, because this is a power, and that's why of course we take log on both sides. So we have 2 times natural log, but one really important moment right now, because we have x square, and if we take this 2 right here, so let's, let's plug in this absolute value right here. We need to put it, because x square, it can be positive, it can be negative, we don't know about it. Equal to x times natural log, natural log 3, ok? Ok. What are we going to do next? Let's divide both sides by x. Because we don't need this x right here, let's try to regroup our x's on the left and our constant on the right. So dividing both sides by, by x. Ok. So we have like 2 natural log absolute value x over x equal to natural log 3. Ok. So I will do this slowly, step by step, and I hope you understand it. This is a really interesting question. Ok. And then let's take this constant from here to the right hand side. Let's divide by 2 both sides. Ok, natural log absolute value x over x equal to natural log 3 over over 2. Ok? Ok, so I hope you, you, under, you understand this step. We just bring this our, our constant on the right hand side and our this element on the left hand side. And right now, let's try to uh, understand or let's try to remember Lambert W function. What is this function? I try to understand it, uh, I try to explain it step by step. So Lambert W function, if we create expression like that, if we create expression of x times e to the power x, if we create this expression, it will be equal only to our x. Ok? So if we create this expression, x times e to the power x, it will be our x. So the same, this expression, this one and this one are the same. We need to create e and if we apply lambda w function, it will it, is, it simplifies a lot, a lot our expression. Ok, so let's look at our expression right here. So we have natural log absolute value of x. So it tells us that we have two cases. So the first one case is when x is positive 1, because if x is positive 1, we will have like expression without absolute value, so we have natural log absolute uh, natural log x over x equal to natural log 3 over 2, yeah? So we have this expression right here, this is our first case, x is positive 1. As I told before, we need to create Lambert W function situation right here, so let's try to create it. First of all, let's bring this x to our numerator, so we will have x to the power minus 1 times natural log x equal to natural log 3 over 2, or let's write it times 1 half. I, t I will tell you before why I write it. Ok, x to the power minus, minus 1, this is good, but right now let's change this natural log x, or not natural log x, let's write this x to the power minus 1 as e to the power natural log x, which is equal to 1 and to the power minus 1. So this expression, I take my, my red pen, I just want you to understand, so this expression, this give us 1, yeah, we all know this, this give us 1, so 1 goes right here, so it be it will be the same as, as uh, right here. With this x, of course, it will be the same expression as right here. And times natural log x, of course, times natural log x equal to, and right here, natural log 3 times 1 half. Let's bring this 1 half as a constant to our power. We can write it, we can bring this in one way right here and to s of our power. So we have like natural log square root of 3, because 1 half, this is square root sign. Ok. And right now, take a look closely. I just wanted to change an order a little bit. Let's write this natural log on the left hand side right here. So natural log x times e to the power natural log x to the power minus 1 equal to natural log square root of 3. Ok. And as I told before, Lambert W function, we need the same, this expression times e to the power to the same expression. But if you look closely, this minus 1 give us right here minus. So we have like natural log x and right here minus natural log x. So let's 
Let's multiply by minus 1. If you multiply by minus 1, we will have like minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log square root of 3. Okay, and let's apply right now Lambert W function because this is our case. Same this expression, same this expression. So this is our moment to take Lambert W to apply Lambert W function. If you apply this function, I just I don't want to rewrite it. Oh, let's let's rewrite it. So Lambert W function from this expression minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to Lambert W function minus natural log square root of three. Okay, if you apply Lambert W function, we have the same this expression, we have the same this expression, so over all over all our left hand side will be equal to minus natural log x. As I told before, yeah, if you create this function, it will be equal only to our x, minus natural log x, and our right hand side, this is a constant, so let's write it, Lambert W function minus natural log square root of 3. Okay, this is a constant, which is really great, and right here, let's find our x. How can we do this? Let's uh, let's uh, multiply by minus 1 because we have minus right here, we don't need it, so natural log x on the left hand side equal to minus Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 3. Okay, e both sides, let's let's uh, take e on both sides, so we'll have like x equal to, so right here we, if you don't understand what I mean, so right here e, right here e, this is equal to only our x and as a result our x will be equal to e to the power minus Lambert W function of this expression minus natural log square root of 3. So we find our x and moreover let's divide it by, uh, let's bring this to our denominator, so 1 over e to the power Lambert W function of this expression minus natural log square root of 3. Okay, okay. And I find this in a table of Lambert W function, in the values of Lambert W function, and this expression does not exist if you are talking about Lambert W function. So when x is positive 1 right here, so when x is positive 1, there is no solution. There is no solution right here, so no real no real roots. I'm not sure you see this you see this moment, but I right now I, I take this paper. Yeah, so no real roots right here because it does not exist this minus natural log square root of 3 in this point. Okay, then we need to go back to our second case because if we write our second case, our second case, when x is negative 1. Because if, if x is negative 1, we will have like natural log. We will have like next situation, x to the power minus 1 times natural log minus x equal to one half times natural log, natural log three. Okay, okay. And the same situation as I told before, Lambert W function, let's create it. But between this moment and this one, it will be completely the same expression because we can write it as Lambert W function equal to x equal to minus one over e to the power Lambert W function natural log square root of three, okay? Okay, as, as you can see before, we have this situation with minus right here, we don't have this minus. And in this case, Lambert W function does exist because x will be equal to, approximately equal to minus one to the power over e to the power 0 0.377, which is equal to, approximately equal to 0 0.686, of course, with the minus sign. And this is one and only root in this to this question. So our x equal to minus 0 0.686. If you're talking about a graph, we can easily see this see the solution. So x square, this is our classic classic function right here. And of course our exponential function, it will be like that, something like that. And right here does not intersect because we don't have a positive solution. So only one and only root is right here. This is minus 0 0.686, okay? Okay, this function does not intersect right here, so no point of intersection in a, in a positive uh, part. So our answer, our answer x equal to minus 0 0.686. This is a solution to this problem. Maybe I hope you see this step right here because I does not Change this paper, this goes through here on the bottom, on the top. I hope you see this part. If x is, is positive 1, there is no solution, no real roots. But if x is negative 1 right here, 
we, if x is negative 1, we'll have one solution, x equal to minus 0 0.686. This is my solution to the problem. Also, thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.